we're gonna be getting into some dairy-free clam chowder. Looks like the start of something good. Yeah, it is. Uh, we are at Moonshine Park in Lincoln County. It's a county park here in Lincoln County, Oregon. Campground. Campground. Yeah. Spending the night, my brother, oops, I just stepped on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you handled that well. I really just stepped on his foot. I was kind of like, you gotta feel that. <laughs> You're like, I did, squishy but I looked foot. at you and you weren't responding. So I'm like, did I really do that? I thought you were doing it on purpose. Like, <laughs> You handled that well. <laughs> Cut. Oh, no. Uh, my brother Randy and my nephew Grayson are coming out tonight after he gets off work camping. Grayson has never been camping. Uh, my brother's got a tent thing that is in the bed of his truck that pops up into a tent. So I'm excited to see that for the first time. And um, anyway, but right now it's pretty warm out. Before it gets any warmer, I want to get to this chowder. I'm going to start with these ingredients for my chowder. We've got bouillon onion about five or six i use yellow potatoes um celery two carrots and about three cloves of garlic three to six i don't know whatever whatever the magic you ingredient the magic ingredient i'm gonna be using these at the very end so stay tuned for that and also um i'm gonna put the clam meat in and i'm gonna put a little bit of smoked steelhead in for a little flavor flav and I'm going to finish it with some frozen sweet corn. Just a touch. Mm. Whew, that breeze is kicking up. All right, let's prep these veggies and then we'll get back. And we need to show them how much meat we get from those five clams. Oh, I will. Oh, she will. So meaty. Okay, I've chopped the onion, celery, and carrot. And I'm going to sweat those off together for about five minutes or so. That looks about right. Now I'm going to add the potatoes and the garlic. I will let that meld for about two minutes while I go back and get the bouillon and water together. So we'll be right back. So I use just enough liquid to cover the vegetables and then I'm gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes or so until the potatoes are done. So the potatoes are fully cooked, everything's good, good, good to go. Now this is where the magic happens. Remember those cashews I had earlier? Those were raw, unsalted, unroasted, just totally raw, plain cashews. Um, I've been soaking them in water. I used about a half cup. I've used a cup before, I've used a quarter cup. There's really no specific amount you have to use. But I've soaked them in water. I've put them into a blender. And now I'm going to be taking some of the liquid. We're going to be doing this two times, but the first time I'm only using liquid with the cashews. So I ran that for about three or four minutes. You want to run it a long time on a high just to make sure it's extra creamy. This goes back in the pot. Just dump it in. Dump it in. Super creamy. And then we do this another time. And this time we're going to be getting more vegetables, uh, lots of potatoes and carrots and all kinds of good stuff in there, um, plus liquid. Okay, round two, here we go. It's looking chowdery. Some people roast hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> if I had some chipotle pepper powder, I would put a pinch of that in as well, but I don't. So we're gonna omit that. I'm gonna hit the heat since I turned it off. Turn it back on. And this is the meat from our clams. Five gaper clams. Yep. Dump it in. Dump it in. In lieu of bacon, we're doing this smoked steelhead. Gonna mix that in. And then we're going to add just a bit of this frozen corn. 
and let it cook just for a bit. Those clams aren't gonna take much, so. I think she's done. Did you make enough? I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go here. Um, my dad might come out tomorrow on his motorcycle and I told him I'll have chowder. He is a chowder hound. He loves chowder. In fact, we brought him chowder back, a can of chowder back from Florida. He said it was really good. But the first thing he would wanna do with this chowder, put a big pat of butter on top. <laughs> and hey, it might be just what it needs. Let's give it a go. Clam looks good. I got a big clam right off the bat. Oh, good. Good. It's tender. Mmm. Oh, heavens. That's good. Yeah, it is. Um, the smoked steelhead has enough salt and fat to really add some extra flavors. Mmm. I would go for more smoked salmon. I would almost put more clams. More everything. Mm hmm Well, it's delicious. That's a verdict. It's never the same twice. There's no dairy, but it's creamy and mm -hmm. it's good. So good. Mm. Gonna finish this bowl and maybe I'm gonna roast a hot dog later with Grayson. Grayson's never been camping. He's never roasted a hot dog over a campfire. He's never roasted marshmallows. His dad's bringing s'mores. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> Yay, adventure! We're camping with Grayson and my brother Randy, and we just threw... Daddy, say hi! <laughs> He's not real excited. No. Um, we just threw a crowd at drop in. We're gonna try again, get yeah, it in a good spot. You might have seen me from the kite video and the, um, what other video was it? No, there's been a few. In the Easter egg video, you might have seen me from those. Yes, now we're in, this is your first time camping. It is my first time camping and I Now last night you, today. oh that's part of camping. Yeah. Last night he had marshmallows roasted over a fire for the first time, but you didn't you didn't make it s'more, so tonight we gotta do s'mores. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. like a plan? And I got, like, I saw this s'more from a game, and I'm gonna make that one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Lots of geese here. Yeah. This is the Siletz River, and uh, we're gonna let this soak for a few hours, see if we can get any crawdads. Yeah. Is that gonna be your lunch? Yeah. Okay. We'll check back. And then we'll go back up, wait an hour at least. At least an hour. Yeah. And come back down. Yeah. See if we got anything. Yep. Guys, look at that. Our first s'more ish. First s'more. At a campfire. Yep. Mm. Thumbs up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My dad came, the chowder expert. I told you he was going to come. Let's see what he says about this chowder. Hmm. First, anything dangerous, you must smell the fumes. Yeah, you got to smell it first. He wanted to make sure mm. someone tasted it before mm. him. Mm. Mm. Oh, creamy, creamy. Let's see. Oh, oh it's, oh, ooh. <laughs> no. It seems a little warm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we may have to get back to you on this so it doesn't burn himself. Mmm. It may need a hit of salt. Mmm. Mmm. Just a pinch. Pretty good. Pinch Pretty of salt. Good. Yeah, very good. Mm. Um, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll have, he'll work his way through that bowl. And I don't we'll think it needed a bowl. You know what I said you were going to say it needed? What? What do you think? Because you know there's no dairy in that. Cream? No. No. I, I told them you were going to say it needs a big pat of butter on top. Oh, <laughs> God, that's right. Where's the butter? <laughs> exactly. Mm. I can get that for you if you want. It's pretty good, I mean. It's got smoked steelhead and mm. lots of clams. It's really good. Yeah. Mm, I'm, boy, the clams. I'm gonna have some too. Good, huh? We passed the dad test with the clam chowder, so that's good. Checking the trap, checking the trap. See if we got some dinner snacks going on down there. Okay, what do you think? I think there's 
Nothing? You're going with nothing? At least one. I'm gonna go with two just because I'm optimistic. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Maybe we need to try it in a different spot. I'll give it a shot. Good morning. We got skunked with the crowd ads last night, um, but we had a good time. We actually had another couple show up. They're camping next to us, our friends um, Lyle and Diane. And remember that coffee we roasted last week in our last video? We're getting ready to actually try that. So this is our dark roast. We did two batches. This is our dark. Oh my gosh, that smells good. It does smell pretty good. Oh, that's going to be good. So we're trying this for the first time. We're doing a fresh grind on the dark roast. And I'm going to get the water going outside. And we are going to be sharing our Vagabond coffee. Let's get the water rolling. Enough to get some going here. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a smell. Fresh ground, Lyle. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Superpower, isn't that? <laughs> yeah. We'll be turbocharged. We're going to do one cup and split it to begin just to get a little taste of going. Now, this is a new thing we are trying. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Some yeah, it's fancy coffee maker. Some friends of ours uh, turned us onto it, but it's um, it's a pour over slash not. You'll have to see how it works here. You treat it just like a pour over, but then you put the lid on it and then you let it set. It's called the Clever Dripper. Um, I'll throw it up on our website with the Amazon link so you can check it out, see if that's gonna work for you. But we've been actually really loving it. There's a little feet on the bottom. So once you put it on your cup, then it presses up the so bottom. So you're seeping it in here nice and gentle. Now we wait. Now we, wait. we are ready to pour. Let's see it. It's Morning, going. sunshine. Oh, Grayson's up. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Nothing for you, knucklehead. Pistol can't wait. Good. All right. First taste. That's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's Here. dark, but it's mild. No, it's not acidic. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's you hot. Really taste it. You need it. it in a real mug. Yes. We got some hot coffee over here, Ran. I want to check What's your up? tent out, though. So we got a little ladder. It goes up. That's quite spacious inside, actually. I mean, you can't stand up, but what more do you need? I mean, you're just in here to sleep. Mm -hmm. And you have skylight, like a... Yep, you can take the rain fly off. Nice, you can look at the stars. Definitely don't want to take the rain fly off on the Oregon coast. I forgot how wet it is in the mornings here. Very wet. Nice, this was perfect for you guys, huh? Yeah. Was the pad comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, you slept like a rock? Mm-hmm. Look, just like that, he's putting her up. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at that go. There it goes in half. Boom, now you just tighten that up and throw a cover on her. Yeah. Cheers to good camping with family and friends. Cheers. 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 We're gonna cheers our cup, Gray. Cheers. <laughs> cheers and carry on. Cheers. Carry on. Hi. Hey, are you excited to go camping again? Oh! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, are you excited to go camping again? Oh! 